Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another book review and today I'm going to be talking about a book that I read recently and that is Shadow and Bone. And this is a book that I really enjoyed when I read this one and I actually read this one. Um, I mean a lot of people did say like uh, you should read the Grisha trilogy before Six of Crows which I loved and have a book review on right there. And but you know sometimes you just have to read whatever's in the moment. And so this book I actually was really intrigued and I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would be. And if you haven't read this book, it's about this girl named Melina. And she and her friend Mal, uh, she also has a big huge crest on him at the same time. Uh, they're both going to war. They're both like in the military. And then they go to what's called um, the Fold, which is like kind of like some darkish thing that's happening, I guess, like. It's like a force or something like that and when you go there bad things happen there's monsters and so on and so when they're one day they're going there and then something happens they're getting attacked her friend was gonna go die so alina saves his life and reveals her powers which everybody finds out about this and things go down and then so she ends up getting taken away whisked away by the infamous darkling and so he tells her that you are a Grisha, which is kind of like a witch or somebody who like has powers. And if you're interested in like something like with elemental type of thing, off uh, powers kind of thing, it's kind of like that. And so she gets whisked away, and she must hide into this castle um, where all the Grishas uh, train and they live and so on. It's kind of like an academy. So if you like kind of like that kind of feel, it's kind of like that. And so she learns about how to use her powers and how she is destined to help save the country that she lives in, Ravka, and help uh, stop the war because the war is no business and it's also not, no bueno. And so things go down and so and throughout the time she also learns how to deal with her uh, love of Mao, her best friend, who sh she doesn't know where he is. And I think that she also had to learn more about the Darkling and so on. So that's pretty much what the book is about. Uh, I actually really enjoy the character, Alina. And I actually thought she was, she was intriguing and I feel like a, one of those characters where they kind of like start out like not as the strongest character but then they build up throughout the book and learn how to believe in themselves. That's kind of that book. And they're also there, um, she also has to deal with who she is and she always lives her life as being like the weak person or just looked down upon and so she also had to deal with that. As for the Darkland, I gotta say like I have a love-hate relationship with him. Um, I won't tell you like what happens at the end or something, and I will like go into the spoiler section uh, at towards the end of the book, so that way anybody who has read the book, we can talk about it. But he is pretty much like an interesting character with like two sides personality. There's like parts of him that you love him about him that he's very like you know interesting. And then there's the other part where you love to hate him, but you can't. And you're like, no. And then, let's see. Uh, I also like the other supporting characters that have their own personalities and they're well-developed. I mean, they don't show as much in the book, but, you know, you appreciate them throughout the book. And I think Verdugo is, like, leaving it to the next books to actually get more into them, which is also interesting. I'm actually really intrigued by the Grisha world because when I read Six of Crows and stuff, um, they had like they touched based on some Grishas, but it wasn't heavily focused as much except some of the action parts and stuff on. And so this book threw you into it and I saw all the magic going on and if you like special abilities and characters, it's exciting. It was like really cool and then they're like they go live in this castle which is like lavish and very royalty and very beautiful and elegant and it's just interesting and I also like the whole vibes. I mean here too, uh, they do say like they have like this more like Russianish inspirational vibe. But I get, I mean, I got to see some of that part also. Like maybe the name's Ravka, I guess. I don't know, but you know, oh well. But I actually really enjoy this one. It's very fast paced, and yeah. So if you really like that kind of thing, do check it out. So now I'm gonna get into a spoiler section. So if you haven't read it, leave. So getting started on my thoughts about the book, like for Alina, I really enjoyed it, her character and how she pretty much, you know, like she's pretty much looked down upon, especially like even too, she had like this big, huge love for Mal, who pretty much doesn't really uh, 
I mean, appreciates her as a friend kind of thing, but you know, you pretty much like, dude, Elena, you should forget about him. She, he doesn't even know that you're into him and she, I mean, come on, he always leaves her behind most of the time. So she's kind of like unappreciated. And so she's better off with somebody else. And I mean, I didn't like, wasn't sure about Mal or anything, if he was going to be a thing or anything. And I thought it was just going to be one of those. You forget about him, he leaves and she'll find somebody else. And I also was really, uh, wasn't sure what was going to go on. And so for um, when the Darkling showed up and so on and was wixed the right way, I was like, oh no, where is she going to go? Is she going to be in a dungeon? Or what is, what is going to go on? And then there's these crazy monsters going out about. And this war going on. It was like, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. And I also thought, like, in the beginning of the book, uh, for the Darkling himself, he was one of the most interesting characters, I gotta say. Uh, when, it, when the start of the book, I actually really shipped them both. I actually liked him at the start. Uh, hear me out for the Darkling. I actually thought he was kind of sexy in some way. Until things went down, I guess. I will get into that. As for the, the whole powers thing, I thought it was really interesting fresh and I also like the whole culture of the Grisha world and the way Bardugo like showed us painted the picture it was just so beautiful to know more about it and stuff and also like the other characters like uh, Jinya who's pretty much like one of my favorite characters because she is uh, always looked down upon nobody appreciates her but she's so talented and very artistic and she's known as the tailor and she works with the queen and stuff and I actually think she's like she should, should have had more parts in the book. I also really enjoyed the whole part when um, Alina was learning how to use her powers and even the the teacher who's kind of like mean meanish kind of thing but oh well sometimes you need those kind of teachers around to teach you things. And so now getting on to the Darkling when he portrayed everybody it turns out that he's not to no good and he ends up being a sociopath. I was like, what, man? I mean, first you were sexy and then you betrayed us, you know? And then you turn out to be even more of a sociopathic guy and he's just like, wow. And I hate it when that happens because, you know, like whatever you like, get really into a character and then you find out they're totally different and it, it just go downhill. And when the moment when like Mal showed up, it actually was in the forest and so on. I was like, wow, now I like Mal again. I like him. I wasn't sure about him. I wanted, uh, she changed, he changed my mind. Though I still, still like the Darkling anyway because I still want them to go get her when he was nice. But, oh well. So that's pretty much like what I thought about it. And the ending, I was like, oh my god. It was crazy and I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm actually excited about what's going to go on in the whole series because I'm really interested in it. I actually really loved it as much as I like Sissy Gross. Still, Six Gross is way better, but I still loved it and it's really good. So, if you haven't read this yet, do check it out. So, hopefully, you enjoyed my book review. Do click on the like button if you enjoyed it and let me know what you thought about it uh, about Shadow and Bone. And if you're somebody who actually enjoyed it, also let me know. And what do you think about the Darkling? I really want to know. What do you think about him? Did you also ship him and Elena at the start and then? grew to hate him or what and so if you like this video and want to see more book reviews and do you like the whole idea of me combining spoilers and non-spoilers in a video or do you want it separate two videos but anyway do subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and stay tuned and until next time keep on reading